most shocking mysterious things deep sea divers have ever seen, part 2. 04. Japanese puffer fish nests. When diver Yuji Okita first discovered what would later be identified as the nests of the Japanese puffer fish, he was baffled. He described them as underwater crop circles. As alien as they look, these underwater crop circles, like the ones on land, have nothing to do with extraterrestrials. The Japanese puffer fish is less than 5 inches long yet this little guy is the artist behind these wonderful and ornate nests of sand. The nests are about 6 and a half feet wide, and I say, guy, because it's the male puffer fish who makes them. If a female is sufficiently impressed, she will lay her eggs in the nest and then the male will fertilize and look after them until they hatch, about 6 days later. The male then goes off and makes another nest and the cycle continues just like Tinder on a Saturday night. 03. Giant Lemur Fossils When diver Philip Lehman was called in to survey some potential fossil remains in flooded caves in Madagascar, his hopes weren't much beyond finding some good surfing spots. What he found instead was much more interesting. Imagine a bizarre world, a world like ours, but slightly off. A world full of horned crocodiles, big me hippopotamuses, and eggs laying that are 180 times the size of the chicken eggs at the grocery store. And the kicker, lemurs the size of gorillas. No, this isn't some alternate world in the multiverse, but rather the African island of Madagascar on our own planet, just 5,000 years ago. The earliest human settlers of the island would have seen some of these magnificent creatures, and killed them. But for layman and Australian diver Ryan Dart, finding these fossils would have to do. They give us a much better picture of the weird creatures that have evolved on this island. Oh, 2. The Yanagyuni Monument Discovered in 1987 off the southern coast of Japan by Kachiro Eratik who was looking for sharks, the Yanagyuni Monument is either a cool natural formation of sandstones and mudstones or it's something else. First thoroughly examined by Masa Akiki Mura of the University of the Rukias, the Yanagyuni Monument is noteworthy either way. At the very least it's an odd naturally occurring rock formation, but Kimura has another theory. He believes that the monument is just that, a monument. Man-made stepped monoliths, to be exact. While many others have yet to be won over by Kimura's theory, there is no official classification or designation of the monument. If it is indeed man-made or even just man-modified, this raises many further questions. Who made it? Why? And how? More research is needed. Oh, 1. The Best Shipwreck Known among divers as being perhaps the shipwreck in the best condition, the Umbria sank in 1940. Originally built as a passenger ship, it was purchased by the Italian government in 1935 and refitted to ferry troops and supplies over to Italy's colonies in East Africa. As World War II loomed imminently, the ship was forced to anchor north of Port Sudan and was examined by British and New Zealand naval officers. But because Italy had yet to formally declare war, there was nothing the British could do about the massive amounts of explosives, ammunition, and supplies on board. Hearing that Italy had or was about to declare war, the Italian captain was desperate not to let the ship's cargo fall into British hands, so he purposely sank his own ship. While the vessel was salvageable, the British decided not to, due to the dangerous explosives aboard. Shortly after the war, the ship is located by divers and it is still a popular destination to this day because of the ship's good condition under about 38 meters of water. Thanks for your viewed video. Please subscribers my channel. If you have any comment or question, please let me know. Thank you.